I knew that you would change the world, Jay Rougeau. I just never imagined that it would be like this. Father, the death of Jay has plunged our lives into darkness. Separated from him, we are broken. We are adrift. Grant us your healing grace for the days ahead. He had a servant's heart. And he was the kind of public servant who lived every day, putting others before himself, whether he was in uniform or not. Tonight, we are honoring a hero. Thank you for joining us at five. I'm Jasmine Brooks. Nearly two weeks after Trooper Jacques Rougeau was gunned down in Juniata County, the 29-year-old is being remembered for his heroism and service. CBS 21's Michael Gorsigner is in Erie, where law enforcement friends and family are remembering a touching life cut too short. A send-off fitting for a hero, hundreds gathering to honor the life and service of fallen trooper Jacques Rougeau, the 29-year-old killed in the line of duty. Family and friends saying he died the way he lived, serving his community and the Commonwealth. A flag-draped casket carries the body of fallen Pennsylvania State Trooper Jacques Rougeau. I'm really not sure how to exist in a world without him. He is my entire world. Hundreds flooding the Bayfront Convention Center in Erie, honoring the life, legacy, and service of the 29-year-old killed in the line of duty. He was a model trooper. He was selfless. He was respectful. He was kind. He was smart. Jay's life was stolen from us because he drove toward danger to protect the rest of us. A call for help summoning Jay Rougeau to work on June 17th, hours into an intensive manhunt for a suspect that already shot up a state police barracks and wounded another trooper. Rougeau was killed in an ambush style attack. We should celebrate his heroism and we must never forget it. Today is not about answers because at this point the questions don't even make sense. Today's about love. And today, love dominating the conversation. Jay and his wife, Chloe, childhood sweethearts, planning a long life together before the tragedy. We celebrate him as a hero today, but he has always been my hero. A hero in the truest sense of the word, with a county, a community, and a commonwealth forever in debt. Brother, you will never, ever be forgotten. I knew that you would change the world, Jay Rougeau. I just never imagined that it would be like this. After a 50 minute procession from the Bayfront Convention Center back to the funeral home, Trooper Jacques Rougeau's body will stay till Thursday. At that point, it will move to Mifflin Town for a private graveside service and the burial. In Erie, Michael Gorsegner, CBS 21 News. Michael, thank you. Law enforcement from far and wide converging on Erie to honor the sacrifice of Trooper Rougeau. Departments as far away as Idaho and Texas sending representatives to the funeral. In full dress uniforms with lights flashing, the show of unity in the law enforcement community, a sight to behold. When officers head to work each day, this possibility sits in the back of their minds. Still, these brave men and women choose to serve and protect. We expect our police officers to go to places that we want to keep us safe. And that's exactly what happened here. And you know, my heart goes out to his family. And I think we all need to take a moment to, to be appreciative of the people that are willing to do that. Also represented at the funeral from Central PA, members of the Susquehanna Township Police Department, as well as Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. Meanwhile, Lieutenant James Wagner remains in critical condition this evening, serving as the station commander of Troop G Bedford. Lieutenant Wagner was also shot and critically wounded during an exchange of gunfire outside of the Lewistown barracks. As Wagner works toward recovery at Hershey Medical Center, there's a GoFundMe raising money to assist with his medical bills.